Hi, this is Moran Pober, and today I want to show you how to become an investor and own equity in multiple businesses, even if you have no experience or capital. And the beauty is you can do it part-time or full-time. There's no opt-in needed, no money needed. Just watch this training. I hope you get value from it because I paid multiple six figures to learn some of the things that um, I'm going to teach you here for free. So yeah, just me documenting my journey. I hope you enjoy it. So. I guess you're asking, hey, why should I even listen to this guy? Is this a scam? What's going on here, right? You probably clicked an ad and, and, and came through to this to this uh, video, which is fair enough. I mean, I would probably do the same. So first of all, I worked with people and mentors who did more than $250 billion worth of deals. If you, com if you combine all my mentors, um, I mean, I paid multiple six figures to learn from them. And I think that alone is worth um, paying attention to. I mean, I, I've personally been doing it for the last two, three years full time. This is what I'm doing 24 seven. I'm out there buying businesses, looking to buy businesses. I'm literally talking to business owners every single day. I personally was involved in 12 different businesses over the last 10, 11 years now. Some of them seven figure businesses. Uh, I made a lot of money. I lost a lot of money and I'm just here sharing and, and documenting my journey because I know I wish that I had some of that content from two, three years ago when I just started of me putting things out there on where I am. And I think in a few years ago, if I'm gonna look back at those videos, it's gonna be really cool to check it out. So that's that's another really good reason for me to do it. So yeah, pretty much I've learned from mentors who did billions in deals. I had uh, many businesses myself. I made a lot of money, I lost a lot of money. And I'm here to share with you some of the lessons that I had so you won't have to go through that process. I mean, the learning curve that I had to go through to become what I am right now, which is by no shape or form any huge um, uh, mogul or something like that. I'm not Richard Branson or Marcus Lemonis yet, although I do aspire to go there. But I think that some of the things that I've been to, some of the mistakes that I've, I made, I think can, can help you a lot and teach you a lot um, throughout your process as well. If that's a path you want to take of becoming an investor or buying businesses and, and just becoming a, a shareholder in multiple businesses. So yeah, if you'd like to learn more about this world of buying businesses, investing in businesses, becoming an investor at whatever stage you're at, subscribe to this channel and um, comment below. Let me know what you think and let me know what questions you have so I'll know what kind of videos to create. Just to give you an example of what you can achieve in this space, like my first deal was an app company. I bought a, a, a very not successful, to put it, uh, if to put it in the right words, app company, didn't make a lot of money. With the two kit, um, I hired lots of people, um, developers, designers, marketing team, and we grew it to a point where it was in the top 100 app um, in more than 100 stores in the app stores. So, and trust me, when you're there, you're making really good money. So that, those are the kind of results that you can achieve eventually. You can do it with literally any business, any industry. Um, to put it specifically, you can even do it with every size of business, although me and my partners, we have a sweet spot of deals that we're working with on specific industries and size of businesses. And I'm more than happy to expand on that if you want, but um, I don't care what sector you're in, what niche, what experience you have, you can get into this space in pretty much any, any sector or any experience that you have. So I guess, I guess the first question that comes up to mind is why, why should you even care, right? Um, why you even need to get into this space? I think in my opinion, and I've been involved in many businesses, doing deals, buying businesses, investing in businesses is the closest thing to fun and game and, and just loving life in general. Because the, what I'm doing right now, the, the space that I'm in, talking to many businesses, different industries, different sectors, it's just so fun. I've never been involved in a business where my day-to-day -day was so good, uh, where I was literally enjoying my day-to-day -day and I would do it even if I had no money, like I love the process, which I think is the most important in the end of the day. So I want to show you how it's possible. I think this is the perfect business for people who are ABB. We just want to be involved in many things all the time because this is a business where you have literally um, a good excuse to be involved in multiple sectors and multiple uh, with, with multiple people because that's your job to talk to business owners, to, to invest in them. And, and I love it. I mean, if you, if that's something that you, if you find yourself getting bored really fast, I think that's a, an industry, anything that you're gonna love. Um, and obviously the, the the potential to, to make a lot of money here is, is definitely doable. I mean, the richest people in the world, that's what they're doing. They're growing by acquisitions, they're buying companies. 
And I, I think people, many times when people get in touch with me, they don't understand how it's even possible. And the thing is, because at least personally with my team, businesses that we're looking to buy, we're not looking to manage them day to day. We have general managers or CEOs of that specific business running them for us, where we, me and my partners, we're, we're at a point where we, we shareholders in businesses, which means we have someone running businesses for us, which means we have the time to go out there and find more deals to do. Um, so that's why you can expand, literally there's, there's no limit to what, what you, where you can expand, it's literally just a matter of how much time you're willing to put and I guess your resourcefulness. So you're probably also asking why, why this stuff even matters, why would someone even want to do it, um, why do you even do this channel? I think for me, um, as someone who's so involved in this space of business, all the books, podcasts, seminars, literally everything out there that's talking about business is 99% about how to start a business, which for, for me is just frustrating because people don't even know that it's possible to go out there and buy existing profitable business that's going to give you income from day one. So for example, with a startup, I don't care what business you're looking to start. Like I see many people talking about starting an e-commerce business or a social media agency or whatever business you want to start you need to put a lot of time and many times even a lot amount of um, capital compared to what people have at that point. I mean, if you look at stats out there, 90 plus percent of businesses are gonna fail within the first few years. And even those who succeed within the first five years are mostly gonna fail um, eventually. And I'm not trying to be pessimist, this is just life. I mean, that's, 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 that's life. And people don't even know that it's possible to go out there and buy existing business that's gonna give you income from day one. So you can go buy a business and literally get money from day one. You have employees from day one. You have track record, you have a list of clients, you have things that for a startup to build that brand recognition can take you many years where you can go out there and buy existing business that's already existing for many, many years and buy it as is with the employees, with the processes, with the systems, with the brand recognition and product recognition which is something that it's very hard to achieve with startup. And in the end of the day, the amount of capital and time you need to put in order to get to a point where you buy that business is, is many times the same time and even, even smaller time. You can put less time many times and buy a business. And the thing is, the time that you put initially is the time that you don't need to put after that. So you can buy a business, have a general manager in that business, and then you're good to go and find a different business. You don't need to be involved there day to day. And that's why I wanna show people that it's possible. I want to show what's possible. I mean, people don't even know that it, uh, I've, I've never, I didn't see anyone talking about this space, especially not, not on YouTube or social media. And I want to bring it into, I guess, the awareness uh, for people. I see people like Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, which I'm, I really respect and appreciate. He's talking a lot, a lot lately about his ideas of going and buying um, brands, like old brands that were really um, famous or good in the past and maybe buy them and do some kind of turnaround. And this is the type of space that I'm in and I know I can really dive into it and help you figure things out. So I, I want to talk about a few myths uh, and first of all, uh, if you didn't uh, notice yet, my English is not my first language. I'm, I'm actually originally from, from Tel Aviv, from Israel. And if I have any English mistakes or grammar mistakes, uh, deal with it or uh, leave this channel, it's all good either way. So I want to talk about a few myth, myths that people have when they're thinking about buying a business or when they even look at about that space of becoming an investor, they don't even know it's possible because of those things. So there, there's few reasons why people won't even get into this space. Um, and I, I think the biggest one is that they don't have the capital to buy a business. And people don't understand, but the richest people in the world, they're mostly not using their capital to grow their wealth. They're using financial partners, lots of ways to, financial partners are lots of different things, uh, but in general, they're using other people's money in order to grow their wealth. And most people don't even know it's possible to go out there and talk to financial institutions, talk to private individuals and raise a lot of capital to grow your um, personal net worth. And, that's why you don't need to bring capital from home in order to, to become an investor and buy businesses. The second biggest thing is people think they need experience and it, it's not true as well. Obviously, in the end of the day, having, having experience is great, right? In, in anything in life. And obviously, it's, it's going to give you the opportunity to build rapport faster with a specific business owner if you have um, 10, 20 years of experience in that sector. The thing is, 
because that because we the thing is because we buy businesses with existing management team in place we don't need to know the day-to-day in that business we have someone who have experience in that sector and we give him the responsibility and keys and, and I guess um, whatever he needs in order to help with that business but he's there the sector expert the industry expert I mean if you look at Warren Buffett one of the richest people in the world if, if not the richest it's, it's at some I mean, Warren Buffett is not running his businesses day to day. He's just buying really good businesses with really good management team in place. So he can buy many, many businesses and have experienced people in each of those businesses running those businesses for him. I mean, my, my mentor and now partner did more than 250 deals and he did most of the deals without using his capital. So it's possible. You need to change your beliefs. It's all about limiting beliefs. In the end of the day, I believe that Everything in life is mostly in your, in your mind and head. So you need to be around people who do that so you can understand that it's possible. And I hope that this channel is going to provide you that. And again, don't remember, if you like this content, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think and what questions you have. And I'd love to create more videos for you that way. Let's get to the nitty gritty of things. How do we buy businesses and not using our capital? And in a nutshell, we're using the business assets and we leverage them in order to pay for the acquisition costs. And again, in a nutshell, as long as the free cash flow in that business that we're looking to acquire can cover your debt service from the capital that you raised, then you're good to go. You can buy that business. And again, you're not using your capital and you're not even raising your capital yourself. It's basically the business raising capital. So it doesn't matter what your credit score or history or how much capital or assets you have on your personal balance sheet, because we're using the business assets and credit and track record to finance that acquisition. It's kind of like real estate. When you're going to buy real estate, I mean, most, most of the people out there um, have a house or know someone who bought a house. When you buy a house, you don't use only your capital. So you're using many times, I mean, obviously you don't have to, but you go to a bank, you take some kind of mortgage and you use that to pay for the house. And it's the same in business. You can do similar things. And the coolest thing with the business, you can grow, you can buy a business and then you can grow it 10, 20 times, many times. And that's something that you can do with real estate. That's why I really love the space that the growth potential is just huge. So I hope we, we covered that. We covered that you don't need capital. You use other financial partners and sources and institutions to help you with raising that capital. And you don't need experience because you have general managers running those businesses for you. People with a lot of experience in that sector. And you just act as the shareholder, as the basically the vision of the business, the, the person who's out there making decisions and is the shareholder, but you have people who do those things day to day too. You can do different deals, you can buy different businesses. Obviously, every investor got their criteria for the type of deal that they're looking for. I can tell you that me personally with my partners, we're looking for mostly companies with people who are looking to retire. So we like to go into businesses, um, find someone who potentially looking to retire or have some kind of motivation to sell. And as long as he's really motivated, there's a, a legit reason for him to sell, we'd love to get into conversation with those owners because we're not looking at this, at this stage in my life, I'm not looking to pay premium for businesses. There are millions of businesses for sale and I just see no reason to, to pay well above and behind accounting, fair accounting evaluation for a business. Um, so that's why yeah, we find businesses with owners who actually looking to sell their business. Now, the first question that comes up to mind is why would someone sell a good business to you? And again, it's kind of like real estate. Why would someone sell his house? Maybe he have a different house he wanted to move into. Maybe he wanted to change his, his, his location, move to a different city, a different country. And same goes with business. I mean, many times there's situations in your close family. I mean, something can happen and you need to sell that house, or in this case, business. And this is exactly what we're doing. We're looking for people who have some kind of legit motivation to sell and we come in and give them a great opportunity to ex exit their business in a very fair accounting evaluation. So yeah, in, a, in a nutshell, you can buy so and you you can buy really good businesses that way because many times those business owners who are looking to retire, for example, don't have children to pass that business to. Um, they don't have any, um, I guess, legit retirement plan. And that's what we help them with. Now, the third question that many people ask me is how do you find the, the right business for you? Um, the, the best answer for that is 
there's the right business for each one of us. So for example, let's put it in, in some kind of perspective. Ideally, you want to find a business that will combine your passion, your experience, and your exper expertise in general. So for example, if you've been involved in the construction sector for the last 20 years, ideally you want to go and look for businesses in that sector or in some kind of, uh, uh, I guess, similar sector so you can bring your experience, your knowledge, your contacts, your, your uh, track record into that space. And if you can combine that with your passion, so for example, if you've been involved in the construction business for the last 20 years and you have passion for that sector, then that's, that's ideal. Now, if you can combine, if you can combine your passion your experience and obviously the location of the business, right? So everyone have uh, an ideal location for their business. Uh, many times I've, I saw people who just want to have business far away in a different country because they want to have an excuse to travel. And many other times there are people who just want businesses who are local to them where they, they can go and visit uh, within a few minutes of drive. So it's up to you, what your goals? Do you want to have maybe I don't know, a business in, in Australia just so you have an excuse to travel to, to Australia? Um, do you want a business in a specific sector just because you're really passionate about that sector you're really curious about that sector and do you have experience in that sector so if you can combine all those put them in in one side and then add to that um, the idea of motivated seller you want to find someone who's actually motivated to sell their business especially if you don't have millions of dollars lying around in your bank account you want to find someone who have a legit motivation to sell so you can pay him a fair amount, um, but not more than a fair amount. I mean, if you look at most of the businesses over the last few years who, who, who sold, basically, um, they got sold for around two times multiples their EBITDA, their pre-tax profit, basically. So you don't want to get to a point where you go into a business and pay them 10 times multiples just because you think the business is cool, right? Because it's just a matter of good financial decisions. So again, combine your ideal location, your experience, and um, your passion. Put that together, and with that, find someone who's motivated to sell. Find that business, and obviously over the next few videos, I'm gonna tell you how exactly to interact with them, what to tell them, how to start even a conversation as someone who never did it before, how to position yourself as an investor, as someone who's out there looking to do deals, which is crucial. You gotta position yourself right when you're talking to business owners, otherwise you're just gonna look amateur. Um, so you need to do that, plus, yeah, I'm, I'll pretty much share with you whatever you want. Um, I'm going to share with you lots of inside um, conversations in my company, which is pretty, pretty cool. You're going to listen to things that I wish that I, I was able to listen to a few years ago. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Again, subscribe below, click the, the bell button if you like it, and comment below and let me know what you think. Just give me feedback, answers, questions, and I'm going to continue putting videos out there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Again, remember, you can become an investor in multiple businesses, even if you have no experience or capital. I'm going to share with you whatever needed in this journey, in this, in this channel with you. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you soon.